yesterday we got a pretty big storm that came in the region where we are. The wind were up to 100 km per hour. We expected some tree to fall down and it did. It just so happened to fall right on the path to the cabin, which is it's fine. Uh, we'll cut through it. We wanted to start uh, cutting firewood anyways for next winter, so it's a perfect opportunity to do it right now and start on our pile. It also knocked down a balsam fir in the back right there. It's pretty big. We think we'll be able to bring it to the cabin, so it's just a free log that we'll be able to use next time. I do it more. Sure. So the question we get asked uh, all the time, pretty much the most common question we get asked is why aren't we using power tools or a chainsaw? And there's no single answer to that question. Uh, we have a whole bunch of small reasons why and uh, I guess if you add up all those small reasons then the choice is pretty obvious for us as to why we don't use power tools. So the first reason is because it's amazing exercise. We both work full-time jobs. We're kind of stuck uh, at a desk in an office for four days a week. This is pretty much our gym. When we first bought the land, we bought it pretty much when COVID was at its peak. And uh, all the gyms, all the fitness centers were closed. So this was just the only kind of physical activity that we could do. Another reason is that these tools are cheaper than power tools. Overall, they're going to cost a lot less than chainsaws, um, circular saws, uh, chop saws. Uh, you combine the cost of all those uh, electric or, or gas power tools it runs up into like the thousands of dollars and uh, if you couldn't tell so far on our channel we're very <laughs> minimalist frugal and a little bit cheap sometimes so we wanted to spend kind of as little money as possible and uh, the hand tools are just the way to go um, there's also a lot less maintenance for them as long as you're buying good quality hand tools all you need to do is kind of just sharpen them when they get a little bit dull uh, so you just have to buy a sharpening stone and every week or so or month whenever they get dull you just sharpen them up and they're pretty much good as new. Compare that to a chainsaw where you have to constantly buy gas, oil, uh, you have to maintain the chain, all the moving components in the chainsaws they can get costly. Fourth reason is uh, they weigh a lot less so our cabin site is deep in the forest we have to hike uh, over a kilometer through the forest to get up to our cabin site so having to haul up uh, all those heavy um, power tools like a chainsaw every time we go up and down uh, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. The hand tools are just a lot lighter and easier to uh, move around. Another reason is just the noise that's produced by power tools. Uh, we both just hate the sound of them. They're very very loud. They pretty much take away from the ambiance of being out deep in the forest uh, with nature. We want to be able to hear our land. We want to be able to hear the birds chirping. I uh, hear the sound of the wind through the through the trees. Um, another reason is so we feel like hand tools are a little bit safer than power tools. Of course, that's a little bit debatable because uh, I don't know if you're very very well trained with power tools. There's there are ways to use them very safely. We feel like a very small mistake with a power tool can lead to a very very serious situation. Um, so if you're using a chainsaw, if you just make one little slip, then you know you might lose a finger or a limb just like that. Uh, whereas with uh, a saw or an axe, uh, pretty much the worst thing that can happen is like maybe in the worst case scenario you, you break a bone. Uh, if, you, you know, if you're using an axe and you miss the log and you hit your shin, maybe you can break your bone. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much just like uh, skin cuts and abrasions, uh, which are not that big of a deal. 
we'd rather get like a hundred or a thousand small cuts on our hands than like losing a leg with a chainsaw. And possibly the last reason is just because hand tools are so much easier to use off grid deep in the forest where we have no power source yet. Uh, so with you know gas power tools, you have to haul up the gas that you would use, uh, whether it's already in the chainsaw itself or if you're bringing up extra gas for for chainsaws or other uh, gas power tools. If you're using uh, electrical power tools, you would need to have an electricity source up there, which we don't have yet. Uh, of course, once we build the cabin, we're going to have solar power up there, but we don't have that yet. So hand tools are so much easier to just take off into the woods and use them wherever, whenever you want. And lastly, um, it's pretty much just an idea that we had. We wanted to kind of prove to ourselves uh, that we can build a cabin using our own two hands. And uh, at that point, it's kind of just a matter of pride. Uh, we started it this way, we want to finish it that way. Um, so it's all about pushing yourself and, and setting kind of goals and constraints uh, for the project that, that we want to do. So with all those positive points to, to hand tools, uh, of course, there is one downside to using hand tools uh, is that, of course, it takes a little bit more time to do your tasks. Um, but we, when, when we weighed all those pros with the one negative, it was pretty easy to make that decision. Uh, we're not really stressed to get this cabin done as fast as possible. We kind of want the opposite, actually. We want to take our time with it. We want to do it right. We want to enjoy every step of the process instead of rushing to get it done as soon as possible. So I know a lot of you probably wouldn't make the same choice as us and uh, you know that's okay everyone has different priorities in life um, but for us our priorities align with um, all the positive benefits of using hand tools so that's why we made the choice that we did. This is so much fun it's a blast using all these tools and, and learning uh, the skills behind them and uh, we wouldn't have it any other way.